millions and millions of Indians walk barefoot and they are very poor. And I thought this would be a very good uh, way of conveying that they're not only poor, but they also have tremendous knowledge and skills. Bunker Roy believes that the way to deal with poverty in India's poor rural communities is to help them become self-sufficient and sustainable. And so, almost 40 years ago, he set up Barefoot College. Most of these women can barely read or write, and yet they're learning to build, test and even repair sophisticated solar-powered cookers and lanterns. They will take these skills back with them to their homes and help bring new technology and light to villages without electricity. This thing when we came to our village, we said that we can't do anything in our village. The women build everything themselves from the steel frame, which they cover with small mirrors, to the mechanical clock made of bicycle parts that enables the mirror to track the sun and direct its rays onto a cooking stove. The solar cooker is a perfect illustration of the Barefoot College philosophy. It cuts down fuel costs and it's healthier because women are not inhaling smoke from traditional fuel-burning ovens. In fact, they like the cooker so much, they've written a song about it. सोलर कुकर में ऐसा है कि एक बार पैसे लगते हैं, उसके बाद में इसमें समस्या नहीं आती, ना तो गैस चाहिए, ना लकड़ी चाहिए, only सूर्य चाहिए, उससे आप चावल बना सकते हो, दाल बना सकते हो, और चाय बना सकते हो, जिससे उबालने वाले सभी चीजें इस्तेमाल कर सकते हो। It's an extraordinary thing that they managed to do it with such precision that now. We are cooking with those solar cookers twice a day for 600 people. In another of the Barefoot College workshops, Women are also being taught how to build solar lanterns. The college's reputation is such that the lantern workshop draws women from as far afield as Africa. I build it for myself. I connect it for myself. You do it the wiring. You have five pin, uh, uh, six pin, this lamp body, lamp. You have the fuse holder, capacitor, Registers. This is the, the, the solar lantern. We all feel proud of ourselves because when, the, when you, you, they show you something to do and you can do it for yourself, so you feel big among yourself. In a nearby village, the children work on farms during the day, but they rely on the college's solar lanterns to enable them to have schooling at night.
The night school is a sort of a strategy. It's actually a way to acclimatize children who are scared of learning how to read and write, scared of going to school, scared of being judged, and to make them feel that this is a fun place. So it's a way of actually gradually bringing them into mainstream. More than 350 villages across India are now benefiting from solar lanterns built by women trained at Barefoot College. But there's another benefit. Over 2,500 children in night schools take part in elections to select members for a really innovative project, the Children's Parliament. The Parliament aims to make children feel like and become equal and responsible members of society, regardless of their caste, gender or economic status. It opens their minds to new possibilities and helps them learn how to bring about change in their communities. This is our future. This is the future, how you mobilize, how you recognize, how you recognize the innate, tremendous, extraordinary, awesome knowledge and skills that India has, which we should respect and we should acknowledge and we should uh, apply and show how much we are missing. That's what we want the Barefoot College to convey. <laughs>